So this is what we're going to do today. Detect here. It's going to be crazy. Tall grass. A lot of thorns and things. <laughs> but Max is waiting. I mean, I have plan B. If it's not doable, then we'll go somewhere else. But I really, really wanted to go here. Without further ado, let this crazy adventure begin. Come on! Now that is a good start of the day, isn't it? Opened up my drink and it just sprayed all over me, really. <laughs> oh well. As I was saying, good start of the day, innit? I forgot my cover. <laughs> so I'll try to be inventive and see if I can make it work. It probably will. But um, yeah, well, <laughs> good grief. <sighs> okay, let me fix something. I've put some paper in. Now I'm going to put some duct tape on top of it and probably it will work. <laughs> Good to always have some duct tape with you. <laughs> All right, let's see if it works. Yep, it works. <laughs> let's hunt. Well, this is going to be our first find. <laughs> it's iron. I decided to dig iron as well today. There are not too many signals here, so, well, I don't know, probably a big nail or something like that. I think this is where it ends for us here. This just does not make any sense. If I want to find something, then I should not be here. Very crappy, because I really, really love places like this, but it's just undoable, really. So we're going to leave this place for now, maybe one day they will take out all the grass or, you know, mow it down, we'll see. If we can, we will be back here. Man, I'm having a tough day. Um, plan B is already at work, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and if you're in an old place and you find a door handle made out of aluminum, you know you're in the wrong place. So, I'm gonna get out of here, onto a new place, see if we can find something there. Good grief. An exploded swan. <laughs> Crazy. They ate it all. What a mess. And we did it. Finally. 75 signal and our first coin of the day <laughs> it's already late in the afternoon oh well I'm happy with this crusty coin maybe I get some detail when I'm home but anyway We've got a coin! <laughs> Finally, in a better spot anyway, a couple of meters further, a one cent from early 1900s or mid, well, late 1800s. Well, anyway, two coins in a couple of meters, so maybe it will work out in the end. Well, it's not like we're finding one find after the other, but we're finding stuff. Sometimes days can be really tough. <laughs> we have a buckle in the hole. Not terribly old, but a buckle it is. We're on to 81 signal and it's very deep. It's a big object. I have took a peek at it already. I have no idea what it is, but Let's get it out of the hole together. Come on. This, it's gonna be this in here. It's made out of lead, I think. Yeah. 
this could well be a, a kolf, I think they call it, to play yeah, a form of ice hockey. So, I was talking about the kolf, but it's actually called in, uh, in Dutch a kolfslof. I was actually pretty excited when I cleaned this vine. You see it's worked there. But here there are three little stars. Probably hand carved in it, so it's pro maybe a... It's kind of a personal item that way. If you're not familiar with stuff like this, then you would probably wonder what the heck did they use this for? Well, I'll, I'll try to explain real quick. It's a golf club, really. And they started playing this game in the, in the medieval times. The game was basically the same as golf. Uh, that they play nowadays only they would you know put a stick somewhere and play towards that or uh, they would choose a tree and and play towards that and the one the winner was obviously the one uh, who needed the fewest strokes to get to the tree or the stick or something like that I found one previously this one is actually complete it's soldered together it's a very nice one there is some some fancy here. Now the wooden stick would obviously go this way and then bend up that way, just like a golf club really. It's funny that sometimes you think you don't really find a whole lot like this day, but then in the end you end up with a very very cool find basically. You can imagine this is a screaming signal. It's actually a rat trap. They catch like muskrat and other rat with it. But sometimes they get lost because this was completely covered underneath here. It wasn't stuck in a hole and normally they would, you know, plant something like a, a stick with an orange color. But I don't see anything like that here. I'll probably... I've got some at home. I'm probably going to give them uh, to somebody who, you know, goes out and catch these rats. I just hate it that Euro coins are the same color as gold. <laughs> they fool you once in a while. Uh, now I kind of knew because the signal wasn't that deep, but uh, 50 euro cents. Uh, let's see if we can find the gold one. Probably not here, <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep trying. Apparently, there was somebody with a hole in his pocket here. Another 50 cents. What we're actually looking for is somebody with a hole in his pocket in the 1600s or something like that. But we'll take it. It could well be that this is our last find of today. Now we did not do too good. <laughs> <sighs> Terrible. <laughs> and on the other end, I mean. I really, really enjoyed myself. The day ain't done yet, so we might actually find some stuff. Um, I'm almost at the end of the place where I'm uh, detecting now. And maybe I'll go further, maybe not, we'll see. But I had this 75 signal and it was pretty deep hole actually. Pretty deep hole. And it's gonna be a crusted coin. Let's find out what it is. I think it's a doubt. It's just gonna be a very, very crusty 17 or 1600s coin. I mean, the date is okay, only the material is, you know, should be silver, then it would be a very, very good looking coin, probably. <laughs> but you know, we'll just take what the ground provides and move on a little bit further. But first, I'm gonna enjoy the scenery. <laughs> I don't want to forget that because otherwise it's all in vain. Just enjoy where you're at. Whoa, hope they don't crap on me. We 
almost back at the car and we're done for today. I did a full day of metal detecting really and I knew it was gonna be tough but <laughs> I had hoped it wasn't this tough but anyway so let's see what we have. So here is what we ended up with 350 euro cent pieces, 120 euro cent piece 25 cents, it's nickel, gives a cr uh, trashy signal, but dug it anyway. Couple of old coins, probably one died from the 1600s and the rest is probably 1800s, I'm not really sure, can't really tell. And of course our buckle and some kind of a token. Thanks for hanging out with me today, although it was a tough day. It was a pleasant day anyway to be out, dig holes, find stuff and enjoy nature. Really appreciate it that you came along and obviously I hope you come along next time again. But for now, take care and I'll see you later.